What's up everybody, Winnie here with Winning with Winnie where you gonna win cause you with me, that's it. So y'all, um, I didn't post yesterday like I normally do because I'm on vacation, I'm on a road trip with my three little kids. Three little kids, say hi. Y'all say hi. They're, they're behind this thing. Okay, they're not even coming out. Um, anyways, yeah, we're on a road trip so I didn't get to post yesterday cause I was so tired and when I say I was so tired, I couldn't even think straight. My mind would not function right. Um, so I ended up not posting it. But anyways, since I'm on vacation, since I'm on this road trip, I do want to share with y'all that like this road trip is something that I dreamt of doing about maybe five years ago after I got divorced for the first time. And um, I told myself, you know what, I'm going to take a road trip as a single mom on a budget and I'm going to show other women that they can do this too. They don't have to depend on other people to take their kids to certain places. They don't have to, you know, make their kids wait until their kids are old in order to do stuff like this. Um, so it, I didn't do it five years ago, but I did it now. I finally got it done. And now that I have it done, I'm super excited because we have been to one, two, three, four, five, five different states so far. And we stopped in most of the states except for, no, we stopped in all the states except for Mississippi. Um, but, and we're going to Mississippi too. Anyways, but um, we are going to Tennessee today. And after Tennessee, we will be going to Missouri, then to Colorado, then from Colorado to Utah. So we're traveling pretty far and wide. And y'all, I am literally doing this on a budget. So my budget is $1,000 for all of the travel. So for gas, for food, um, for hotel stays. If we do stay in a hotel, we don't always stay in a hotel. There was one night that we slept in our ride, our car, and I really, I really want to do it that way to where we just sleep in our cars and at rest stops, but everything doesn't quite work out like that, y'all. It don't quite work out like that. So, um, we ended up just getting a hotel last night because I was so, 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 so tired and I needed some real sleep. Um, anyways, Y'all, I'm just, I'm really happy that I finally decided to do this and to all the single mothers out there, whether your kids are old or young, this is definitely something that you can do. Um, just putting aside literally like 50 to $100 per month for anywhere from 12 to 24 months, which, you know, 24 months is a long time, but um, if you really want to do something, then trust me, you will put it away you will keep it safe you won't abuse the money you won't misuse it whatever it is and you'll actually take a trip and y'all real quick I learned about like saving for something you really want to do when I watched my sister have her wedding okay so my sister did a big wedding I have never done a big wedding at all um, and you know I seen her with her board she put money aside here or there until she you know got what she, it was that she wanted and I was like you know I can do that too but I'm gonna do it for this trip with my kids now I will be 102 thousand percent honest with you I was so nervous I was like I don't know if my car is gonna make it I don't know if I'm gonna run out of money or not but at, at some point I was just like I gotta stop making all these different excuses I gotta stop being afraid and I just gotta get out there and do it especially if I want to pioneer something for black women brown women and other women who just they don't quite fit the, the 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 similar persona of the typical person who does a road trip with their children which is generally a wealthier white woman or you know somebody who has a, a lot more money to do a lot of things um so yeah I'm not scared anymore I'm doing it and I'm so glad I am because my kids have been having a blast and I have been having a blast we were at a plantation yesterday we went to Pensacola Beach like Marion stop we did so much and it was just like it was super fun it's been super fun and I look forward to everything else that we're gonna be doing in the coming days um, y'all I do want to tell y'all this I want to leave y'all with this one simple message and that message is literally if you have something that you want to do if you have like a dream um, something that you just really feel yourself being pulled to but you don't feel like you have the budget for right now and you don't feel like you can afford it or whatever you can't make it for whatever reason sit down with yourself and ask yourself what will I need to do this thing 
as soon as I can, as soon as possible. Like basically, what will I, what will you need to get there? So for me, I had to map out like each state. Okay, I'm going to all these states. How much gas is it gonna take? How much will that gas take? How much will that gas cost? Not take. Um, and then I had to think about like, could I sleep here? Could I sleep there? Am I fine sleeping in my car? Like all these different things in order to make something like this happen. But for you, if you wanna do something, just do it. You might not be able to do it tomorrow. You might have to save for it, sure. but just do it. Y'all, I went to a conference this year. I saved for that conference, and then I went and did it. Y'all, I'm on this road trip right now. I saved for this road trip, and then I went and did it. And I didn't save a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, ten thousand dollars. And we're not staying in fancy hotels. We're staying in our car, and we're staying in ho our, we're staying in little forty dollar hotels that are like falling apart and stuff. But we're doing it with what we have right now. So do what you can with what you have right now. So if you don't make a lot of money, you make just a little bit of money, put a little bit of money aside. Find out where you're wasting money, put a little bit of money aside, and go ahead and get that stuff done. Love y'all so much. God is good, life is good, and we are amazingly blessed.